background, my name is Mike Peacock. I'm teaching at Wusong University uh, in the Culinary Arts Department. Uh, mostly uh, English conversation. Also, I teach uh, for the IBT TOEFL, uh, Students Are Going to Study Abroad, as well as uh, internship students. I prep st uh, students for their internship abroad. So it's usually, supposed to, uh, ideally it would be a face-to-face -face interview, but uh, usually it's just a phone interview, I guess for time, time and money. Uh, so just uh, prep them for different questions and things like that. Uh, and I didn't go anywhere last year for my summer vacation, so I made a Moodle. <laughs> I originally tried, I have my own server, and I originally uh, tried to upload it onto my server, but I'm actually, I'm not, I know a little bit about computers. I'm not that well into computers. Moodle kind of makes you look like you are, but I'm really not. Uh, anyways, I went, I went, I can show it maybe a bit later. I went to a website called key to school and they offer free Moodle hosting. So I picked, uh, if you can look at the address, WSCA, which is the Wusong Culinary Academy. And then I had to use MoodleHub.com. MoodleHub, I didn't have a choice, but it's a free server. They, they, they provide service. Uh, they do updates for, the, for my Moodle. I didn't have to do anything. Just I picked the top and I designed the uh, HTML and all that, on, just like with the pictures and stuff like that. So um, <clears throat> with the things that I use, uh, a lot from my Moodle, I don't actually use a, oh, oh yeah, I got the right one here. I don't actually use a lot of uh, the modules that uh, Moodle gives you. Uh, the two things, if you look on the, on the, on the, on the uh, page here, uh, there's just two online voice, voice recording uh, things I found on the internet. I know Moodle has one. I couldn't figure out how to use it, so I went somewhere else. <laughs> and actually, it, it worked pretty good. Uh, the voice it, if you can look at the voice it, uh, I'll just show you how I use it here. This is my 2 plus 2 freshman class. So they are two years at Wusong, two years uh, in New York at Johnson & Wales University. So as you can see, I have files, uh, syllabus, uh, co-teacher co syllabus, uh, just diff different files. Okay, and I give them, each week, I give them assignments. Uh, if you know about the IBT TOEFL, there's different uh, types of questions, right? So for questions one and two, they're relatively uh, short answers. Okay, so I use, if you, you can just, I'm not going to read this for you. You can just kind of read it so you get what I'm talking about. Uh, so I'll just give you an example of assignments. Uh, type 1. Hopefully everything's working. Okay, okay. Okay, so this is just a website, a web page, right? If you go back, if, I hope, does everybody, does everybody understand about Moodle here? Um, turn editing on. Fastest internet in the world. <laughs> okay, uh, you go to add resource and compose a website, a web page. So that's mostly what I do is I compose a web page and I embed things into those web pages. Uh, so for example, type one says, this is the instructions. Uh, read the question, record your answer. You have 15 seconds, da 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 da. Uh, so the question, this is an example of type 1 for the IBT TOEFL speaking section. What is your favorite place to visit on the weekends? Describe it and explain why it is your favorite place to go. Okay? So this thing here is voice it. You can see this is about voice it here. I embedded it into the website and I gave you the code there. So, and if you want, if you don't want to copy the code, just send me an email and I'll email you the code so you can just cut and paste. But if you, if you know about Moodle, and you can update the resource and go into HTML, just paste that, this code there, and it will give you this box, this yellow box. Okay? And what it does, you got to uh, agree to allow access. Is this okay? This one. Uh, this one? Ah, uh, right, right, right. This one. Ah, okay, okay. So record, I don't know, it might work. Hello, 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 hello. Maybe. 
Eh. It will work. I promise it will work. I've been using it all semester. Okay, so when you're finished, the students can either erase it if they don't like it, if they think they did bad. They can play it, which is good, because then they can listen to their own voice. Or they can send it to me. So these are the instructions. Send your answer to your professor. So I, I, there are two classes, two freshman classes. I teach one. Uh, another teacher teaches the other one. So depending on who the teacher is, they send it to that teacher. So if it's me, that's my email. So they put their email down here, too. And then from, they can put their email, but I don't want them to. Uh, I, don't, I don't really know all their emails. And if I get an email from pakjihei at handmail.com, I don't even know. I don't, or it's not even pakjihei. It's like SS wannabe at da 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 da, -da. <laughs> It actually, it doesn't matter what the from email for, is, from, is, is, is legitimate or not. It's just some kind of, uh, it's just so you can't spend, send spam. They just want some kind of signature. So I just say, uh, in the from section, just put your Korean name and student number. It's a little bit hard for them to understand that it's, it doesn't matter if it's not an email address. When I get an email, it just says, it'll say, for example, Jihae Song at whatever her uh, student number is. So it's easy, right? For me, I just look at the student number, I know who it is. And actually, when they send it, they, this, this actual audio file is sent right to my email. Uh, if, you read, if you read along, I hope you've been reading while I'm talking, there's a little bit of a problem with that. If it's a long file, if it's a big file, it takes, the, the bigger the file, the longer it takes to get to your email. So that's why I only use it with uh, questions one and two, because they're shorter questions, short, shorter answers. So the answer is only maybe one minute. I'm flipping here. What do they have? 45 seconds, right? 45 seconds to speak. Uh, so it's, it's a short answer. And so maybe I did this a lot. I did a lot of trial and errors with this. Uh, maybe five, ten minutes before it, it will come to an email. And it works. I, I, I get them sometimes, yeah, if they do their homework, right? <laughs> uh, if, they don't, if they don't like this, they just send me uh, an actual audio file. They record it with their MP3 player and just send it to my email. Um, but I looked everywhere. Uh, this is why I want to tell people about it. These two uh, audio programs, VoiceIt and Volkeru, I spent I don't know how long searching Google for a free online voice recording software. And I could not find anything. And finally, after, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, I tend to exaggerate, maybe weeks, months, years after searching, I found these two programs. So that's why, and they're not very popular. If you Google, uh, maybe, maybe it is now, but if you, if, when I Googled uh, voice recording software, I couldn't find these. I had to go through back doors and side doors and trap doors and I don't know how I found these two websites, these two, these two programs, but I found them. So that's an example of, uh, of how I use VoiceIt. Uh, yeah, for the Volkeru, it's a little bit different. Uh, and I can show it with my uh, type three, type three questions. Like I said, the type three questions are a little bit longer, uh, da, 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 a little bit more complicated. So, yeah, that happens with Internet. There's something here. You can't see it with Internet Explorer, and I can't remember exactly what it is. You can see it in Firefox. I don't, I don't think it's anything, but yeah. Uh, is it, so they read, the students read this. This is a notice regarding uh, university library renovations. Okay, I got the picture to kind of go with it. The question, now listen to a conversation between two students about the notice and take notes as you listen. I embedded uh, the conversation. All this, I, I, I stole it. I, I just found it on the internet and I took it and I put it on my, <laughs> on my website, on the, on the Moodle page. So maybe if the speakers are working. Now listen. <laughs> anyways you don't have to listen to it okay but anyway if, if, if I really want to uh, as you know with Moodle hopefully uh, you can track you can track a, what, what a student does right so I can know exactly how long they've been on this web page this web this this particular activity page so they're only supposed to be 
What does it say? I should know that off by heart. I got to check it sometimes. 45 seconds to read it. And uh, da, 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 da. yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, down here. Okay. 30 seconds to prepare, 60 seconds to answer, right? So it's a little bit longer of a, of a, of a recording. So this is the, these are the instructions. Record your answer here, okay? So I don't like to take them away from Moodle, but with Volkeru, I, I can't figure out how to embed it. You can, but then certain, uh, certain things you, you can't do with it. So I get them to click here, takes me to the Volkeru website. <coughs> if it goes. Okay. I could embed this, right? And I could, uh, but I couldn't get them to, I couldn't get it to display the link that they need to send it. So anyways, they, it's the same idea. They click to record. Maybe this will work this time. Come on. Hello, 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 hello. Click stop. Uh, listen. It works, don't worry. Uh, <laughs> but actually, the idea of letting them listen to their voice, I, I think it's a, it's a great idea. You know, even if they just listen to their voice, you know, I don't like listening to my voice, actually. I, I hate it. When I, when I hear my voice on tape, I, I sound like a monster. But uh, anyway, so they click to the stop. Uh, they can either record again, okay, listen, or uh, send it to a friend. You can send uh, your email and then friend's email. Or post the internet, and this is what I get them to do. Uh, so they can embed it with this link, or they can uh, post this. So they copy this, go back up here, uh, copy the second code, and post paste it in your blog. So my link, I have a link that goes directly to their Moodle blog. If it goes, yeah. So they would uh, type an entry like assignment three, whatever, type da da da, paste it. All they have to do is paste it. I don't care if they, if they say, hi, Mike, how are you? Have a good day. Just paste it and good. But I didn't do that. Uh, actually, they're supposed to be the, my, my smartest students, but they actually they don't participate a lot. Uh, the people that do are my internship students. So I'll show you kind of what they do. It's the same idea. If I go back down, that's me, by the way, down at the bottom. Ugh. Come on. Just as a sidebar, you can, you can embed different blocks. You can put on different blocks, HTML blocks. So I got pictures, my email, Jake. Some people know Jake. Uh, I teach culinary art students, so there's the Food Network uh, recipe of the day. Herb roasted turkey. Okay. This is awesome. ESL podcasts. Hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of podcasts. They speak slowly. They explain everything. It's a it's a great little little gadget. Anyways, uh, let's keep, if I can go up. Uh, come on. Internship. Dun, dun, dun. All right. Dun, dun, dun. So actually, these interview tips are uh, just YouTube videos and different flash videos that we found. I love Moodle because every time you find something, you can just put it on. Like I, if I find P, like I found a PDF uh, document about J1 visa questions and answers, just threw it on. Anything I find in the internet, I just I just throw it. We just throw it on. Uh, so here are the ex assignments. So example. Let's try Wednesday, October 14th. Uh, they, have a, they have a handout that we gave them. So we talked about goals. What are your goals? Record your answer here. When you finish recording, click post the internet. Da, 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 da. So then when I log in, I go to view, not site entries, because that's the entire Moodle. So I would see every, from my conversation classes, every, I do blog homework with them. Uh, you just go to course entries, and that's just for the internship class. So course entries. Okay, so this one was due Wednesday, November 18th. Resource. Let's 
try to check this one out. Should it work? Oh, come on. Come on, come on. I haven't checked this week's homework yet. <laughs> I think the, the question was, uh, do your grades reflect your abilities? So that was the question. So, and you can, it, it kind of disappoints me sometimes. You, you can tell they're just reading. They wrote it out. They're reading it. And you know, when they phone you, you, you can't do that. But let's just practice a little bit more. That just gives you an example of uh, the, different, the two different uh, web applications. Uh, the voice it has some good things. You can actually download. I'll show you. Do I have time? Do I have time here? Am I running out of time? Uh, yeah, we're out of time. Oh, okay. If you want me to show you something later, I'll show you. But I was going to open up my email and uh, show you some of the uh, the downloads that are sent to me from the voice it. But uh, yeah. Uh, it depends on the assignment. I, I tell them which one to use. Like, how do you decide which one to use? I didn't touch anything. What? How do I just... Uh, it, de it, it depends what I think about the, the length of the answer. Uh, personally, I don't care. My, 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 what I want is uh, a voice recording so I can uh, hear their voice, so I can give them feedback. That's why if they don't like using either of these, some of them just uh, record on the MP3 player and send it to me, I'm fine. As long as I get a copy of their recording that I can sit down and uh, especially if, if uh, a senior teacher wants who, how can I say, uh, whatever, is kind of in charge of the program and if, they, if she wants to know how is Billy Bob's uh, speaking ability, I can give her an example. Well, he's okay, okay. Here's an example of his voice. Da -da 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 of his uh, speaking for so that. If it's a shorter file that you can receive on your email. The voice it, I use voice it. Voice it, but if it's a longer. Longer vocaroo. But really, it, it doesn't matter. Why would you use vocaroo for both? It's the first semester I've used it, so maybe I will. Yeah. Vo voice it, I'm kind of iffy because if it's too long, I'm afraid it might get lost in space in, on the internet somewhere. And then a, 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 a student can say, well, I sent it to you, or the the the. Or if they type one letter off on my email, I'm not going to get it, right? So actually, the Volcaroo is is more uh, reliable. So maybe next semester I'll, I'll only use Volcaroo. Well, on so. the voice that you're able to keep it embedded, you're able to keep them in mood, and they don't have to go ahead. Yeah, right, right, right. And I'm not too sure if you can uh, download the Volcaroo file. You probably can, but I don't know. With the voice that you definitely can. Yeah, it actually sends the actual big file to your to your to your email. So, okay. Anything else? All right. All right. All right. Thanks.